Hi folks, my name is Ermit in the Forest. This is my unboxing of Might and Magic 7 for Blood and Honor. This is the seventh game in very famous uh, Might and Magic role-playing game series, featuring first-person view and controller party of four characters. Uh, this time you have to travel to the land of Erathia in uh, um, pursuing uh, the evil Archibald Ironfist, the evil brother of Roland Ironfist, the king of Enroth, who tried to overthrow uh, throw him and betray him. Then he had to flee and became uh, leader of the necromancers on Erathia. During the course of the game you will have to make a choice to either uh, join the good or evil forces. Uh, the good forces are uh, represented by the cleric Resurrecta and King Magnus, while the evil forces are represented by dark sorcerer Castor. And you have to find some uh, very powerful uh, artifact, some ar architect tool called the Overthruster. And then you have to use it either for good for building uh, a gate to contact the ancient guardian Korak or to give it to Castor and use it to revive the heavenly forge uh, that will allow uh, to forge uh, futuristic weapons that will be then used to conquer uh, the planet. Okay, let's take a look at the box art. Very nice box with embossed uh, dragon or some creature of darkness. Okay, now let's turn the box around and see the backside for some info about the game and text about the game. Okay, now I open the box and let's take a look inside. First of all, there is the game in a jewel case. It comes on two discs. This is disc one. Here is disc two. On the back side, some pictures on the game and info about the game. So that's the jewel case. Next, there is some advertisement on one side for another games, and on the other side there is a map of Erathia of the land where this game takes place. Good, I will show you closer some of the locations. Okay, so that's the map. Then there is advertising for Heroes of Might and Magic 3. It was released about the same time as this game. Okay. Some games catalog. So advertising of 3DO games. Here they are. And in detail. So games catalog and order form for them. Another advertising for High Heat Baseball 2000. Now we get to the installation guide. So some leaflet, how to install the game, system requirements, so on. And technical support. Then there is reference card or getting started card. How to create a character, how to start a game, 
character creation screen options and the game interface with a legend yeah the game screen combat tips and keyboard configuration keyboard layout with legend and mouse shortcuts then there is adventurer's guide to role playing yeah provide you with introduction to this game covering covering the general sorts of things one should know about computer role playing so some basics about role playing games probably the party races of the game world some pictures here and classes various classes attributes and skills What's next something about magic casting spells combat this is very useful actually guide and enemies that you will encounter in this game exploration character advancement here is the map again okay and the last thing in the box is the player manual looks like this Take a look at the table of contents. Welcome to Might and Magic 7. So here's some journal, something enhancing the storytelling. Yeah, the journal continues up to this place. Startup menu, starting the game. Party creation. Statistics. So here are the attributes. Uh, skills. Split into classes and combat skills. Okay, here we get to the gaming screen, game screen, adventuring, and character portraits with a legend. Character screens, book screens, and inventory screen. Uh, controls, interaction. Conversations, towns, display inventory, something about combat, and various skills that you can use in the game, magic system, the spell books and spells with their effects yeah various schools of spells troubleshooting so some help customer support and warranty this is the back side of the manual Okay, and that is all that was in the box. I thank you very much for watching this video.